Okay, in this video we're going to go ahead and install some docks. So docks are going to be kind of like this one that's on top. This is the standard dock that comes with XFCE, uh, which this is Ubuntu. I'm running Ubuntu 13.04. And it's running on a Chromebook via Crouton. It'll be in the description if you'd like to learn how to install Crouton. So what we're going to need to do first is make sure we do have what this little icon is right here, Software Center. If you don't have the Software Center, just open up the terminal and type this command. Once you type that, press enter. You're going to then want to enter your password. Let that install, it should take about 10 minutes, give or take. Once that's done, you can close the terminal. Go back into the Applications menu. Go to System. And then the Ubuntu Center. Once the Ubuntu Center is loaded, you'll want to go to the search bar. Type DOCK. D-O-C-K. Install the first two options, which should be the GLX DOCK, Cario DOCK with OpenGL, and DOCKY. After those have installed, you can close the Software Center. The first dock we're going to look at is going to be the Cario dock. Let's go back into the application menu, go back down to system, and then select the Cario dock with OpenGL. Once Cario dock is loaded, you'll notice there'll be a few icons already on it. First things first is we're going to right click the dock, scroll to Cario dock, and then configure. From here you'll have the various options to change everything. Let's go ahead and look at a few of them. Uh, you'll notice the word themes in the top right. Click that tab. From here you can pick a variety of different themes that can alter the look. Next go to add-ons. Here's some standard applications you can add to your dock. But don't worry, we can add more later that aren't on this list. If you want to add applications that weren't on the list, go back into the standard application menu. From here you can drag and drop any of these applications onto the Cario Dock. To exit the Cario Dock, right click, scroll to Cario Dock, and quit. Also, one more thing about the Cario Dock, you can right click any application to configure that application individually. Next we're going to look at Docky. Go back into the application menu. This time go to Accessories, then Docky. Click the far left icon, which will be a anchor. Just like the Cario Dock, you'll be able to make some modifications to the dock. Under Docklets, here's some standard apps you can add. But again, just like the Cario Dock, you can go into your application menu and drag and drop apps that are not located on this list.